Hello everybody, I am Mole Worst, and this is Dead Rising one last time. I'm gonna at least show off Infinity Mode before I put this series to bed. So, basically, how many days can you survive in a shopping mall that's become a living hell? Your life bar will drain slowly with the passage of time. Pay careful attention to this as you progress and enter your longest survival time into the ranking system. Consider anyone you encounter to be your enemy. Enemies carry hidden items. And yep, still no saving and coming back later. Once you die, you're dead. And oh look, Otis doesn't like me very much anymore. That's gonna be a problem. But fortunately I've got experience with fighting hand to hand. And he can't stop nothing. Take that, Otis. Stay down. You gotta not go getting up when people want you to not get up. How's that concrete taste, old man? Now you're gonna go flying away. And what you got with a frying pan? Stay down. No getting up. You stay right where you are. And you are helpless. Completely helpless while I'm sitting here kicking you to death. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but also kind of sad and mean, and I really wish I wasn't doing this. Why am I doing this? Why are you sitting there watching me kick an old man to death? Why is nobody stopping me? That's a very good question, but you're too late to do anything about it. His frying pan fell through the floor. Now, I'll be taking that raw meat. Yeah, items perform actions, I know how to play the damn game, and I'll just scarf down that raw meat before it goes bad. I'll take a bowling ball, push broom, and a mailbox, but not the paint can. Don't need no paint can. And no zombies in the elevator. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Whack! You are not supposed to live through that. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure the lady who let the zombies in in the first place is in here. Oh, she's already dead. Didn't quite make it in time to bash her head in. I didn't want to eat the cookies! But fine. Now I got the post for the mailbox because the fucking... The box itself has broken off and now it's just a spear. Who wants to get speared in the rectum? There you go, right in the booty hole. There you go. You! Did you just get hit twice by a single jump kick? Good for you. You've set a new record of being an asshole. Taking more hits than you should. Now, hey! Who said you could get right back up like that? Somebody fall down and stay down, so here we go. Whee! How long will I live? I don't know. Oh, I got dizzy. But you can shake out of it quicker if you move the stick around. Yeah. Pretty sure that once you die, you get a nice PP bonus, depending on how well you did, how long you survived, how many kills you got, that sort of thing. But the one and only deal breaker is not being able to save and come back later when you run out of time to play. That shit's pretty annoying. Also, I'm pretty sure that family of snipers that we ran into earlier in the series is gonna be out there in the park. So let's go pay them a, vis a visit and maybe stab them with a mailbox post. Won't that be fun? You might have noticed the yellow bar over there where my experience used to be. Slowly draining, that shows you exactly how much you have left of one of your health squares. But, yep, there's Roger, Thomas, and Jack all up on top of that thing taking pot shots at me. And somebody just landed a bullet on me. Can't let that go unpunished. So, y'all about to start running away. Hey, come back here. I want to stab you in the butt. 
You've got a very stabbable butt there, Roger. Ow. Don't you fucking shoot me while I'm trying to stab your paw. And, damn it, be still. It's very hard to stab a moving butt. Ow. And it would be very great if I could stop getting shot by your children's. Now, damn you, Roger. Get that sweet Republican ass back here. I got a bullet, or a mailbox spear with your name on it. And I'm losing a lot of health to stray bullets that aren't exactly stray because they are aimed very well at me. Would you stop shooting me, please? Goddamn, chaining them shots together. Oh, yes, you will. Now, why y'all back up there? And... Damn it. He got out of the katana range. That's bad. That katana needs to split your cheeks wide open. Now, let me fucking move, please. There we go. Hard to hit somebody who's jumping around like a fucking idiot now, isn't it? Katana to the rescue! Come back here! Come back here, Roger! Don't you run from the katana-ing that you have coming! And fucking Jack landed shots on me as I close the distance to chop some butts. Get your ass back here so I can- Would you fuck off, please? There are other humans around that you could be chomping on! And you choose me. Stop your shooting of me, please! I get it that you're covering your family. But maybe they don't deserve to be covered. Maybe they deserve the slices that's coming their way. And there we go. He's down. Pizza! Orange! And now I've got a gun. And you're shooting over there, so... Bang, bang. Would you please fuck off while I shoot your brother? All I want to do is murder your family, but you're making it very difficult. They know. Fuck off, dead boy. Why you know eat Thomas here? He's got a very chewy looking ass. Come on, take a bite out of it. You know you want to. And fuck off, zombie. Now, you... Frank, quit stumbling around. I know you just took a bullet, but you'll be fine. Thomas, go bye-bye. And now, Jack, you have nobody to cover your sorry little ass. And you're about to shoot at me, but damn it. Now, fucking god damn it. All right, you're getting really annoying there, boy. And, oh, don't you go serpentining on me. There you go. Now I got you. Hard to get away when you don't have anyone covering your ass. Now, bang! Damn it, that roundhouse needs to land because it does a lot of damage. Come on, you. Quit running. There it is. There's that big kick. And bang. Really wish I could grab you, but it won't let me. Now, hold still. And, yep, let's just rest the rifle on his back and then shoot off in some other direction. Now, just... Damn it. There. Got him. You fired your last bullet, young man. And I'll just be taking your golden brown pizza and your other shit and emptying out this gun because I don't need it anymore now that the dudes are dead. Yeah. Maybe scarf a little bit of pie while I'm at it. So, where else shall I go? There's bound to be more people in need of a murdering here in the Willamette Parkview Mall. Maybe I'll hop into a car and start mowing down a fuckload of zombies down in the maintenance tunnel. Whack! Now that's how you use a broom. Oh, that missed. And whack! How many more hits before the head breaks off? There it goes. No more broom head. So no head. 
Guess it's stabbing time then. And all right, hammer throw. Yeah, just look at those kills climbing up. That is the power of the hammer throw. Surprisingly good at murdering zombies by throwing a zombie at them. That does way more damage than it has any right to. And you, you're going that way. Uh-oh. Get out of my way. Hey, no one said you could get back up. You were supposed to stay down long enough for me to get over there and tear your head off. That's the whole point of getting jump kicked. No. We're going into the tunnel, except that ain't the tunnel. There we go. That's the tunnel. Go in through the exit because fuck it. And away we go. Oh, there's Carlito in his truck. Well, yes. That makes it a little harder to mow down a fuckload of zombies like I was hoping to do. But all I gotta do is get him to trap himself in a corner. And then I can wail on him through his window. Now, hold still, you. Oh, there goes my car. Oh, come on, Frank. Get up and whip out that katana. Quit driving around, you asshole! There you go. That katana slice. That hurts like a motherfucker, don't it? And there you go. Now you're gonna try to back up and get out of there. But I ain't letting that happen except you made it out of there, which you weren't supposed to do. All I wanna do is run over a fuck ton of zombies. But we got a crazy ass driver down here trying to run my ass over. I can't let that happen. I, my ass needs to be unran over, if you catch up my meaning, and you probably should, because I don't like getting my ass smashed by a goddamn deli truck. Now, what are you hiding all the way over there for, mister? My katana is back here, and you do need that slicing. And... Fuck off, would ya? There you go. There's a slice. Uh-oh. Don't you... Would you please fuck right off? I'm doing something that doesn't involve you. Pizza in my gut. Where the fuck did that dude go? There he is. Gotta love how his truck doesn't break down from slamming into every wall in the goddamn mall. But... Eh. Oh no, my katana. I can still stab you with my broom handle if these fucking asshole zombies would stop interrupting all of my fucking goddamn movements. Let me stab him. Carlito need a stabby. And fuck off, dead guy. There you go. And he's not throwing any bombs at me like he was back in the actual legitimate game. And he's running away. Coward! That's fine. There's probably a gun or something in this room down here where we found the key to the maintenance tunnel. I'm pretty sure it actually lets you have the key outright in infinity mode. But now he's coming for me. And he's all trapped up in this dead end. And now he's dead. And fuck off, would ya? Cabbage, golf club, four. Ha! <laughs> Suck on my balls! My golf balls, that is! That'll clear a few of them out of the way so I can grab. Would you stop pushing me? And it let me out of the fucking corner. Okay. So, y'all want to behave like that, you're going to get some double larets all up in your face. Now, let me fucking move, please. Oh, great. The door's blocked. Just what I was hoping for. Now, get out of the goddamn way. I'm going to have to move that cart and hope it'll let me through. Now, grab the cart and move it properly. Hold this for me, would ya? Okay, I'm in. 
that's what I was hoping for. So, yeah, there is that gun. I do have a little bit of food, and there is some milk up there. There we go. Got all my squares, but one of them's about half gone. And I'm pretty sure we can fight Machete Man again if we head back to the hardware store in the North Plaza. And then beating him gets us a key that unlocks that door next to the thing where we will find a magazine that improves the effectiveness of healing items. I think that's the case anyway. It's been years since I've actually made a run at infinity mode. So... Yeah. I'll head to Paradise Plaza and see if it'll still let me make use of the shortcut in the women's bathroom and make my way up North Plaza word and see if I'm right about that magazine. Yep, I can still use the shortcut in the women's bathroom. So now let's head to the North Plaza and see about the dude with the machete. And you're gonna pay for just blundering into me with your head. There we go. Whack. Now, you know what? Let's go ahead and... Damn, that only got one zombie. Thought I had it lined up better than that. Either way, I still got a place that I want to get to. Up this way. So, let's just go, shall we? There you go. There you go. That one with the hard hat survived having its head smashed with a sledgehammer. Now that's some serious protection right there. But... It's kind of annoying, because I want him to fucking die, but fucking die, he did not. Now, yep, the shutters are closed here at Sion's food and stuff. The lock is broken, I can't get it here. And that's how they stop you from being able to effectively live forever in infinity mode. No grocery store for you. And I think I mentioned in an earlier episode that there's no infinite supply of healing items like back in the sandwich shop at Paradise Plaza where we found the unlimited orange juice. Now, all right, go ahead and not do what I told you to do. I need a pick-me-up. There we go. That's some nice meat right there. And... All right, then. Fuck off, would ya? I'm trying to go places. There we go. Sweeping strike. Fuck you, zombie boy. I want to go this way because this is where the hardware store is. And I want to see whether or not I'm right about fighting Cliff again in there and getting a key that gives us access to a very useful book here in Infinity Mode. And I know how to play the fucking game! Stop telling me things! Now let's move. And I'm not allowed to aim my camera. When you hit the button it just goes Benny. Now stop biting off my dick. I got places that I want to be. Now, I ain't seeing them in here. So, yeah. Maybe that door is just unlocked where he was keeping his prisoners, or maybe he shows up later, but yeah, it's just open. 
and book on survival. Fuck off with your stupid tutorials! <laughs> Heal plus. Food items, heating, healing ability boosted by 100%. I didn't even have to fight the dude to get that. That should make surviving a bit during infinite mode a lot easier. But where's the fun in just sitting around, passing the time, trying to survive my way without engaging in any sort of fun activities? I'm gonna fucking hoof it and check out other places in the mall. I wonder if there's anybody over in Colby's movie land looking to make a fool of themselves, but there's also usually food in here. So, yep. Deep throat another baguette. Grab that. Hey, there's a thing in there. That's where you can go to cook frozen pizzas and raw meat. Ooh, orange juice. Don't mind if I take that sweet vitamin C. Now let me just head on over to Colby's movie land and see if there's anybody awaiting an ass open. And if they are, then maybe a quick sledgehammer to the head would one-shot them like it did to some of those other survivors in the regular game mode. And fuck off, would ya? I'm over here trying to make my way in here, maybe kill some assholes, but you have to be an asshole, but not the asshole I'm after. I didn't want a wall kick, I wanted a knee drop, but fine. That time I wanted a wall kick, but didn't get one. There you go. And, all right. Now there, you're dead. Except you're not, because you're more durable than that, especially at night. And now who wants some of this? There you go. Hello, cult leader. I'm a looking for a ass to beat. There's brainwashing tips, which doesn't do you any good. It makes survivors fo follow you closer. Which there is no survivor escorting in infinite mode. That is more of a regular game mode sort of activity so that is completely useless to me but I'll just wander around check out some of the other parts of the mall hopefully I'll actually find somebody who's in need of an ass whooping stay down would ya and do that queen fuck off while I'm grabbing queens grab the damn queen idiot there we go the queen is mine baguette in my tum tum and we're all good somebody in the entrance plaza looking to get an ass whooping oh I hear somebody running around laughing and I also hear the sound of remote control cars I want to say probably equipped with explosives and if that's the case... Yep, there's Paul, the arsonist. Now, there you go. A little bit of bullets going all up inside of you. Now, take of that. Ooh, flat on the ground. Ah, damn. You were about to get football tackled, but you moved. You ain't supposed to be moving. Now, take some of that. There you go, drop your splodies all over your pants. Light your crotch on fire again. That shit was funny. Now, I'd really like not exploding because of kicking him in the face. But beggars can't be choosers. Get your ass back here, boy -o. You think you can get away from me? Well, I'm a charging. Haha. Get out of my way, you zombie bastards. Nobody's stopping me this time. Oh, yeah. Kind of moving slowly here. There we go. Well, broke my damn umbrella. Now, damn. For a second, I forgot I had a gun in my hand. But now I've got a shovel. So, yeah. Toss that, you fall down. And now, shovel. 
Oh, that's a bomb. Let's fucking move. Yeah. Running away, are ya, you cowardly little bastard? But it ain't gonna help you. Okay, let's kick the wrong fucking target. Now, stop dropping bombs, you fuck. I'm trying to kick you in the head. Don't you want to get kicked in the head? That shit's fun. Trust me, I've been kicked in the head a lot of times. And it feels good. Now, would you please fuck off? I'm trying to kick a man while he's down. And god fucking damn it, eat a dick, you zombie bitch. I should probably rephrase that because I'd rather not have my dick eaten and they have a habit of doing exactly that. So stay down. You're not staying down like I asked you to. Uh-oh. Bombs go boom, that is bad, I don't want any of that, but he's about to get a whole lot of knife all up in his ass if I could fucking walk by in peace! Now just toss your Molotov, which you ain't doing. I'm gonna go up here, where the zombies can't reach me, so I can take a nice big drink of my juiciness. Ah, fuck you, man. Come on, get up and go stab him! I want to stab him. He's about to get a stabbies. If he just holds still for a second. Motherfucking goddamn swing that knife. There we go. That did a shitload of damage. So I'll just follow the trail of explosions. And I'll catch up to him without getting blasted. Yeah, there you are. Maybe stop right there in the middle of that horde. There you go. For once, the zombies actually helped me. Went and smacked that dude. Goddamn fucking piece of shit. Away with you. I got things I want to grab. And I'm not going to be able to grab them if I'm getting my face chewed off. Now, here. Catch this with your face. Good. Now, fuck off till the end of time. I... I'm going this way, except that doesn't lead to where I thought it did. Which of these ways leads to that outdoor area? Okay, it's over here on the left. Alfresca Plaza, that's the one! There's an unlimited supply of chainsaws there. Or at least there was in regular game mode. But I'm sure they will respawn if I just leave the area. Food items, on the other hand, do not respawn in infinite mode, as far as I know. Yeah. I think I only came through this section once in the whole playthrough. Kept circumventing this area by taking that shortcut over in the women's bathroom. Making my way to places, but now that I don't have anywhere to be on a strict time limit... It's nice to just come back here from time to time. Now, you, sir, are about to get hammer throwed. There you go. That's a good way of clearing a path. Now, would you please fuck off? I'm really tired of getting grabbed by you zombie bastards. There you go. Clear the way for me. Ha! I'm in the gym, and they can't reach me. I am safe. I am sound. And I'm gonna slice up your sandbags. Nobody's gonna go working out here anymore. Or at least not punching these things. Yeah. Suck on that. Ooh, milk. And now I'm gonna work out properly. Can't stop me now. I'm running on a treadmill. Doing this would actually get you some experience if I wasn't playing infinite mode. And so with destroying all the sandbags. But it looks like the sun is coming up. I survived until sunrise. Oh, look, there's Carlito again. As if I didn't murder him in the fucking tunnels. Now he is back. And he's shooting at me. And you need to fuck off and stop grabbing me while I'm trying to climb on things. Yum, yum. Meat in my tum tum. Now let's go stab Carlito, since I don't have a gun to shoot him with this time. Ow. 
Your bullets will not save you long time. They forgot to make them deadly in this game. Damn, he's got kicks. And I can't fucking move, apparently. Okay, I'm out of kicking range. Oof. That's one hell of a foot you got there. And you're dead. Good for you. Must be fun. Not living and all. Chippy chippies. And there was also another food item that dropped down here. And can you swing the damn hammer, idiot? I'm telling you to swing the damn hammer and you ain't so winging. All right, that's better. Now, who wants some cactus? Yeah! Suck on my desert plants. Whack! That cannot feel good. You ever take a cactus upside the head? That zombie did. Ask him how it feels. Except you can't, because he's dead. Who else wants a taste of me cactus? Cactus for you, cactus for you. I'm tired of holding this thing. Here, take it. There. You're very happy to have that, aren't you? Well, looky here. We got some alcohol. That's some good shit. Real good shit. One of the best damn healing items in the game. But I have realized just a second ago that the cooked meat is actually better than the wine. It's only harder to obtain. Damn, I missed. Doesn't really matter, he's dead anyway. But still, there goes your arm. I want that head though. And, damn it. Why is your head still attached? That's a stubborn ass head. Must be glued on there or something. Now, hey, who said you could get back up? Fall down, would ya? Damn it. And, and so what are you gonna do? There you go. Hey, you ain't supposed to not live. Just, hey, damn it. Well, there goes your leg. I am happy. And shovel go for head. That's an arm. I will shovel somebody's head off if you would stay down as long as you're supposed to. Fall damn you. Swing that shovel. There you go. And, and damn it. He's in the perfect position. That's the fucking arm. And, damn it. I will get your head. Just cooperate with me. Damn it. You are not doing the cooperating that I am telling you to do. And head. Okay, finally. Got his head. And you. I want to cut that head off. Except I didn't cut anything off. Eh. You, stay where you are. That was an arm. How I do zombie not live without arm? It needs its head, not its arm. I've seen zombies shuffling around missing arms, but never missing heads. See that? No head, he dead. And you are not getting hit because there you go. That might have been your arm, but I want to say it was your head. Now swing for the fences and chop of that head. Excellent. We get that shovel guillotine going. Yep. Oh, God. Yep, I'm on the ground. Get your fat zombie ass off of me, you punk-ass bitch. And there's another. Always with the grabbing and the biting. They really... Gotta learn how to chill the fuck out. But they just don't want to because they're fucking zombies. Now maybe that murder clown's running around out here again. This was the place I encountered him in. It would make sense to have him show up here again. And there you go. Now if I could... There. That's your arm. You don't need it. So, yeah. No murder clown. Boo! I wanted to face the murder clown! And there you go. 
tired of using that shovel anyway. Doesn't have as much attack power as it should. I was over there one-shotting zombies just by jump-kicking them. And they, those exact same zombies were surviving the shovel. Oddly enough, the shovel does not hit as hard as my bare goddamn fist. Look at that. One shot from there. And there you go. Trample your friends. That's the way to do it. And away with you. Now. Well, that just loops back around to the North Plaza. Yep. Fuck off, you zombie bastards. That was, would you actually hit the damn thing? Yeah, okay, go ahead. Interrupt me, you bastard. That's fine. Now, there. Now, start punching and shit. There we go. Things are much better when you're actually doing what you're told to do, Frank. Now, you come get some of this hammer throw again. There we go. Cleaning out them all, one zombie at a time. Oh, yeah. Ain't no stopping me now. Boom, baby. And give me them legs. Yeah. Why'd you survive having a zombie thrown at you? That is not a thing you're allowed to do. So you get thrown yourself. It sounds fun, don't it? It should, because it is. Bonk. And you, I have missed. It is your lucky day, zombie boy, for just a moment now. Would you please, Frank Karate Chop his bastard, I'm putting in the command correctly, there it is. And, all right, there you go. Karate Chop is very good at severing zombie limbs without actually using a weapon. There you go. Boot. Round and round and round he goes. When he stops, nobody knows. He lost his arms and he's about to go flying any second now, but I don't feel like letting him go. Who wants to get some of this? Oh, there he goes. His leg came off and I'm all dizzy. You stumble around nice and fast, would ya? That's the way to do it. Now just hold still while I slip around behind you and smash your face. I kind of wanted to try and suplex you over the rail, but maybe I can... Ah, I tried to turn the wrong way. I'll try and get somebody over the rail, though. Just hold on a moment and over the rail. Damn it. I want to send him over the rail. One of y'all get over here by the rail. Yeah, you there. Just a little closer. And why'd you move away from the rail? You were supposed to move closer, but you didn't. All right, that seems like a good spot. And... Ah, your face crushed when you were supposed to suplex. That's the only problem with unlocking these better throw moves is that it's harder to do the other ones and... Fucking stop knocking me down, would ya? And I wanted the suplex, but I got the hammer throw. I didn't even grab him from the side. That was very clearly his back. Again, very clearly back. But it counts as the side? Yeah, let's not fucking grab what I tell you to grab. Now, mother of an ass, you go over there. And, okay, this seems like it's close enough to... Damn it. I want him over the rail, but over the rail, he's not gonna go. Maybe if you just do the damn thing I tell you to do. And completely whiff. All right. One of y'alls is gonna... There he goes, over the rail. That's exactly what I've been trying to do this whole time. And away with you. Oh, that's disappointing. And rail. Ah, why are you not rail flying over? That is the only thing I'm telling you to do, but you ain't doing it. Now just hold still and I'll apparently hammer throw you when you're supposed to get the damn suplex. It's fine! I like it when the game does what it's not supposed to do. Now you eat a dick. Can I climb on top of this rabbit? Probably not. I don't see anything that I could get on top of there. 
Her. Fine. I guess I'll just go smacking him with a plant then. It ain't quite the level of cactus that was that we were going with earlier. But I'll take what I can get. And there you go. Didn't realize I had the queen, but queen go boom. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this here. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Goodbye. Bye.